सो गूगल जस्ट डिस्ट्रॉयड कर्सर एंड को पायलट बाई लॉन्चिंग दियर ओन को थिएटर एंटी ग्रेविटी बाई गूगल हाई माई नेम इज शिवम एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज गूगल्स एंटी ग्रेविटी एज अ कोड एडिटर सो वट इज स्पेशल अबाउट दिस एजेंटिक ए आई को एडिटर सो बेसिकली एंटी ग्रेविटी इज एजेंट असिस्टेंट एजेंट रिवेंट you can run multiple tasks that means you don't have to use one window at a time you can switch context and use multiple chat windows to do parallel executions you can also run terminals you can create your own knowledge base that means if you have own coding tutorials code reference you can reference it that and it works on the feedback that means every time it runs some code it will create a prd kind of statements and you have to approve it so it can proceed it further also it can test your application all you have to do is ask this agent to run and test the your application it will launch the app in your local host test it and give it your report so let's try this first you have to go to this website anti gravity google and download the desktop application i am using mac os for now but you can use windows and linux too follow the instruction process and install the application as recommended i have already installed the application here now i'm going to open this application so this is the anti gravity application so this looks similar to vs code that means you have plugins options version control options and source file options on the left side and on the right side you have a similar copilot and gemini like interface to chat application now this is the old thing what's new here here we can click on open agent manager and if we click on it you switch to the vibe coding that means instead of working on a code you can simply interact with chat and do your all work so let's start first i am going to open a blank folder here and i am going to give a prompt so in the agent manager you can see there are workspaces available that the project i just opened and here you can create multiple workspaces depends upon the projects so within the workspaces i can create multiple chats that will work parallelly so if i enter this prompt to create a web application in react and this web app will be to use a chat application using gemini api and open ai api using gpt 4.0 model let's enter now the good thing is while it's generating the code i can go to the plus icon and start a new task so this will create a mockup in html with a chat interface with a text savvy futuristic design with white and green color theme so enter so on the left side you can see an inbox so there is a notification when we click on the notification you can see the other agent is asking for a permission so let's click on it and yes i want to run this command line now in the agent manager you can see there is a code icon if i click on it we will switch back to the code editor that means if you are a developer you can use this editor too now here is asking to accept changes i will accept all the changes provided by the agent and while it's still working on it let's go to the agent manager and see our another task that we did for chat ui mock up and it's already done in the background and you can see open chat ui mock up uh, option has been given uh, it's a simple html page let's click on it view and you can see the ui interface has been ready now this is simple ui interface it is not related to application we are going to implement this and override the ui in our application so in the code we can see that application is running on the local host let's run it on the browser and there you go our chat application is ready here we can type something although it is not integrated properly it's asking for gemini api key is not configured and same for gpt4 but the ui is ready now let's go back to the ui mock up so we can see the ui of this page is like this green and ui theme so i am going to add this in our web application so now i have asked the ui agent to add this ui provided by the ui mock up agent to the application so it's working on it So while it was implementing the UI, you can see it is already implemented a plan and task for us. So if we click here, open, we can verify all the changes it's doing right now. And not only that, we can change it also. Suppose uh, it is says fix width to eighty pixels. I can go here, add a comment to three hundred pixels, and it will apply this in the chat. Click review, approve. and it apply the changes in the agent so we can do this all via uh, making changes via comments and reviewing this prd file so you can see it's mentioning noted i will use 300 pixel width for the sidebar instead of 280 so it started the application with our changes 
it's asking verify you are in the browser navigate to the local host sure so it remember the context it knows that the ui task the new ui is on the separate agent and it copied the files and implemented on the applications so the context remembering is a good thing in this uh, anti gravity by google since we did not add it our api key so there will be error regarding gemini api key not configured but the ui is ready made now i will ask this agent to test this web app and give me report and test cases so it will run the application on the browser test it automatically and give me report okay so it launched the application and it's automatically testing the application right now automatically i am not clicking right now so it's doing the automation right now so it will take screenshot perform clicks enter the input button clicks and everything and give it report right back so after testing is performed you can see uh, it created a test cases prd here so it's telling me that these test cases i have performed on the local host test 1 is passed test 2 is passed test 3 is passed and so on and you can check there is a option for playback available if i click on it there is a video that means also recorded the video to check it later so most of the task has been performed by the agent right now and it will save lot of hours for our developers now remember this to test the application in your local browser by the anti gravity anti gravity has to install a chrome extension in your local browser so when you will first time launch the test application it will ask you to install the anti gravity browser extension accept it and after that you can perform the testing application now let's see the pricing part so on the pricing page we can see individual plan that is 0 dollar that is free and we have accessible to gemini 3 pro clouds on it and gpt open source model not the gpt original that we use on the chat gpt uh, web app this is the open source model from the open ai and we have unlimited trap compilation unlimited command request and generous rate limits that means there are some limitation to the free quota but uh, anti gravity is mentioned in the document that every 5 hours the quota will be reset and most of the developers don't need uh, to reset the quota because they are not going to use that enough tokens to utilize the full quota of the anti gravity or gemini 3 pro so now subscribe my channel comment below how you like this video you can also follow me on linkedin and instagram till then keep learning